So Nathan Rich is a criminal, and not just a little criminal. He is a big criminal. And this is not the kind of person that Chinese people want representing them. Now in America, we have two kinds of crimes. We have a misdemeanor and we have a felony. Now a felony is a big crime. This means that you went out of your way to sell drugs or you tried to hurt someone or to break something that was expensive. Now Nathan Rich has a class for felony of drug possession, which means that he had multiple drugs or that he was selling something that was not marijuana. Something that, I don't know if you guys remember long ago, but a Canadian was actually sentenced to death for in China. Think about that for a moment. Nathan Rich is convicted of a crime that a Canadian not long ago here in China was convicted to and sentenced to death. Now, there's some things that you need to understand about that. As a foreigner here in China, it is not easy for us to come to China and live and stay in China because we have to have a background check. This means that if you're a criminal, you are not allowed to stay and live here in China. So what that means for Nathan Rich is that Nathan Rich is here in China illegally. He is a criminal. So it means that he is either here A on a student visa a tourist visa or perhaps a business visa because with these visas you are not given a background check as per an example for me and other people that are living and working here in China as foreigners we must return to our home country and get our fingerprints checked and we must send that information to the Chinese government to ensure that we are not criminals so again Nathan Rich is a criminal that has sold drugs, that has trespassed onto other people's property or went into someone else's property, maybe a car or a house or something. And this person is not a good person. So this person is again here illegally in China. Perhaps he is on a different passport. Perhaps he is on a visa that does not represent what he is doing. Nathan Rich has said in his own videos that he is a CTO for a company here in China. Now, if that is true, then he is again working illegally. He should not be allowed here in China. The other thing is that he is a deceitful person, that he is trying to get you to believe that he is a good person, that he represents China, that because he made a video about Serpinsa, someone that he knows that Chinese people do not always like, he is making this video in an attempt to gain fans of Chinese people that dislike Serpensa. Now, we know this because of a few things that he is doing. Again, he made a video about Serpensa, about La Y86, only pointing out the negativity of them. And he is using Chinese subtitles on his videos. See, he is very smart in that way. Some criminals are very smart about being criminals. He knows that when you see, as a Chinese person, Chinese subtitles on the bottom of the video, that you will think, oh, wow, this person, he really understands China. He really loves China. So, you cannot trust every foreigner here in China because Nathan Rich is a criminal that is doing things to make Chinese people believe that he is a good person. Again, he is not the kind of person that you want representing you or China. He is not the kind of person that you want working at China to be around your children, to be around your friends, to be around your family. He is a dangerous person. And to the foreigners that are here in China, if you know a foreigner that is here, that is a felon, that is doing things illegally, it is your job to contact the police. Now why? Why would you contact the police? Because if someone like Nathan Rich gets in trouble here for hurting a Chinese person, a Chinese child, you know, a Chinese anything, right? If he breaks something, if he does something illegally, it makes all of us look bad. It makes all the foreigners look bad. And the government will start investigating more foreigners. They will make our life more difficult. They will do things that they think that is best for Chinese people and they will not care about the foreigners. 
So, again, I want to say to Chinese people, listen to me and trust me when I tell you that Nathan Rich is not the kind of person that you want representing you. Just because he says the things that he knows you want to hear does not make him an honest person, does not make him a good person. So, again, do not trust him. Uh, I don't trust him. As an American, as a foreigner, I can see right through the bullshit that he is a fraud, he is a fake, and he is a dangerous person. That is all I wanted to say. Like, comment, subscribe, and have a good day.